Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me with my long hairs from three years ago when we as a family sold all our belongings, our house, our companies, our cars, our bikes, our toys, or 70 pairs of shoes. We went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from a beautiful area around Alicante in Spain with these amazing views, talking to you about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. In today's video, I'm going to share an amazing chart with this magical number on how many days it will take to break last time's all-time high of 20k. We are also going to talk about Litecoin, we are also going to talk about Ethereum, we are also going to talk about Chainlink and also talking about Dash and the co-op between Dash and Taurus.io that is now making it possible for millions of people to spend their cryptos in millions of stores in Mexico. I will end the video talking about some countries like Russia and India that again want to ban crypto, but other countries like Switzerland, where the first official government bank is now going to launch their crypto services. A lot of cool information in this video. Enjoy it to the fullest, guys. Let's take another jump out of my camper into a beautiful place here in Alicante, Spain. One, two. Whoa. Wow. Welcome to Spain, guys. It's so beautiful over here. I am searching for beautiful spots to walk you around and talk about crypto, blockchain and life every day. Now I found again this beautiful path, hillside path, where I will do my daily vlog. And sometimes I will go and wander off to beautiful towns or beautiful other places here in uh, this area around Alicante. Yesterday was an amazing day. We went to a restaurant and ate my first tapas again. I love tapas. Uh, I love these croquetas with jamón. I love these. I love these spicy chicken wings. I love mushrooms with garlic and all the olives and all that Spanish food. I really enjoyed sitting out late in this beautiful quiet street in the town. All people start to eat very late here. So around seven, eight o'clock, people still join the tables. A lot of food comes on your table. And then you just enjoy these amazing, tasteful Spanish snacks, guys. I love the Spanish food. Let's talk about the Bitcoin price, guys. Today, again, I have a really cool chart, guys. If you see this chart, I know you are going to smile right away. It is a don't worry, be happy chart, like the t-shirts I'm selling at our website, thebitcoinfamily.com. This one also, no, oh, my long hair, to be or not to be. It's all about to be Bitcoin or not to be Bitcoin. But this chart is all about don't worry, be happy. Many people expected Bitcoin to go parabolic after we broke 10K because this last bull run, 10K was this magical resistance that if we would break 10K, the FOMO would kick in and everybody would start to buy Bitcoin. This didn't happen exactly now at 10K. In my opinion, this didn't happen because people expect more of Bitcoin. I think the FOMO will only kick in when we will break the old all-time high, around 20K. I think then the FOMO will start to kick in and then people will again realize, oh shit, I should have bought around 10K because 20K is too expensive. And then they will wait again and then they start to doubt again. And then when Bitcoin reaches 25K, they start to buy and that will be the new 8% of people that in the future will be in loss because they bought Bitcoin at a too high price. I would buy Bitcoin now. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a long haired dude walking these beautiful areas in Spain and the rest of the world talking about crypto, blockchain and life. But there is a really cool thing called TA and charts. And if you look to the history of charts, you can get like a little bit of an idea what is going to happen today or in the future. The view is getting even better when I walk this direction. I will show you the view in a minute. But first, let's take this beautiful chart. This one. Bam! On the left side on the chart, guys, you can see what happened in the bull run of 2017. That side is the left side. You can see on the left side of the chart that it took about 162 weeks, around 1134 days, before we hit the previous all-time high. So from the bull run, the first bull run, the all-time high, 
to again breaking this all-time high took us 162 weeks 1134 days so if you copy and paste this scenario from the last bull run into this bull run then we would be now around 959 days after the all-time high this also means it will take another 175 days this is about five six months till we reach last time's all-time high of 20k this would put us somewhere in december january again december january because december and january seem to be these months that bitcoin is always peaking so is this a coincidence while well, i turn around and you can see the other side of this beautiful view i had is this a coincidence no it's not a coincidence it is the cycle this is the cycle the bitcoin has been moving in for the last 11 years guys so now in 175 days we can expect bitcoin to hit 20k again this is around december january and it doesn't mean that bitcoin is not going up now bitcoin can easily go up to 16k even maybe 18k drop again to 16k drop again to 14k and go again up to 16k and back to 14k and up to 16k this is what we call sideways so bitcoin could easily go sideways again before to break this 20k resistance level in 175 days these are really exciting times i'm looking forward to the next six months because it's a beautiful game to play i really think buying bitcoin at this point is a very cheap buy because 20k is just the beginning from the moment we will break 20k that is exactly when all the fun is getting started that is when bitcoin will go parabolic that is when bitcoin will go from 20k to 100k maybe even 200k or even 400k if it is up to some people in this industry i believe 100k already is a very beautiful number for bitcoin so if you look to the right side of the chart you can see the last top of the autumn high around 20k if we draw a horizontal line and we take it to today you can see it will take about 175 days before we will break this 20k resistance line and from there you can see this black line going up this is exact copy of the last bull run so if we would repeat the last bull run we could take it all up to 400k not even a strange number because money is flowing into this industry on a daily basis. the more all these governments are printing the more is going to be invested in gold bitcoin and other stores of values or currencies that are a little bit more protected against the inflation that we are going to see in the next couple of years also for the dollar and the euro guys talking about bitcoin going parabolic did you see the street by parabolic trev at twitter yesterday he tweeted is this guy with his family still alive the guy that went all in so i replied to him yes i think so a little bit in a funny way and later i replied again uh, yes i'm still alive uh, living this crypto life 24 7 traveling the world already for three years still all into bitcoin and still not owning bank accounts as a family supporting bitcoin and crypto 24 7 to the fullest this tweet was shared and liked many times so thank parabolic trev for uh, mentioning me to all your 60k followers i received about 1k extra followers just because of your treat many people were reminded to our story i hope these people will also start to follow my youtube channel now so they can see how we as a family live solely on crypto already for three years and how we do this and what we do to support this amazing industry of blockchain and crypto guys because i'm very thankful and to celebrate all these people now giving me all these positive vibes and their answers i'm going to give away another Another beautiful crypto t-shirt to one of the people that shared the tweet I'm going to do this in two days so you have two more days to retweet the tweet and leave a comment and then in two days I'm going to randomly select one of the people that retweeted the tweet and left a comment and I'm going to send you a really cool Bitcoin t-shirt you can choose the t-shirt yourself on our website but I will give you a 100% discount coupon so you can buy whatever you want on our website to get back to the story does this mean now that um, we will go up right away that we will go to up to 100k now right away no because if you look to the four hour chart of bitcoin and we take a look at this chart bam this chart you can see that in the four hour chart we can see a head and shoulders this could mean that this head and shoulder pattern will lead to a drop in bitcoin probably then to 10,500 US dollar or maybe even a little bit lower between 10,000 and 10,500 dollar before bitcoin is going to rebound again and try to break 11,500 all the way up to 12k in my opinion we still need to notice these fibonacci retracement levels that i saw on this monthly chart 
uh, posted like a few months ago by Key Wearing, these Fibonacci retracement levels were taken from the last all-time high um, to the bottom last year and then you can see to which levels Bitcoin needs to retrace one of these levels will be 13.5k and then the next level will be 16k so I still believe we are going to visit these levels but that doesn't mean we are not going to go to 10.5k again to gather some more friends to gather some more investors invest at 10.5k and take Bitcoin all the way up break 11,500 11,700 then probably break 12k and try to visit 13k as soon as possible please like I said in a video three or four days ago if we would copy this fractal we saw in 2016 we could even see 16k Bitcoin in this month August at the moment guys Chainlink is one of the most popular cryptos around and that's not for nothing because 100% of the Chainlink hodlers are in profit there is not one investor in Chainlink that is in loss everybody that bought Chainlink is in profit like you can see on this chart bam and yesterday's video I showed you that 90% of the ethereum hodlers are in profit on this chart you can see that 100% of the Chainlink hodlers are in profit for me these are really cool numbers because if I look at these numbers I can see that 90% of the Bitcoin hodlers are in profit. I can see that 90% of the Ethereum hodlers are in profit. I can even see that 100% of the Chainlink hodlers are in profit. But I can also see that only 47% of the Litecoin hodlers are in profit. To many, this could be a very negative indicator. Ah, oh, people in Litecoin are in loss. To me, this is an indicator that the Litecoin price is going to increase because they will reach the same levels of profitable people as we see in Bitcoin and Ethereum. That is why I always huddle a part of my portfolio in Litecoin. I think Litecoin still has a lot of potential if it comes to the price. So in my opinion, it's a good strategy to have a part of your portfolio in Litecoin because I think the Litecoin people will be laughing in a few weeks as well, probably in a few weeks or months, 90% of the Litecoin people will also be in profit. But to reach this number of 90%, the Litecoin price needs to increase tremendously. So I'm questioning myself now, which Litecoin price do we need to reach so that 90% of the Litecoin hodlers will be in profit? Who can answer me this question? What Litecoin price do we need to see to see 90% of the Litecoin hodlers in profit? The one who is going to share this chart with me or this answer with me, I will give you a beautiful crypto t-shirt as well. Why the fuck, Didi, are you giving away so many t-shirts? Just because I love this industry. Just because I want to share this positivity I feel in this industry. Just because I want everybody in the world to walk around in t-shirts like this one, to be or not to be, or born to break free. Just visit our shop and you will understand why I like these shirts. Another very cool news guys is the cooperation between Dash and Towers Exchange because they are now go because they are now going to make it possible for people to spend their cryptos in millions of stores in Mexico. Yes, Mexico. I need to pronounce it with a Mexico because I'm in Spain, España. But yeah, all these people now will be able to spend their crypto directly in Mexico in the stores because Dash is going to launch the first crypto debit card ever in Latin America. So the cooperation between Dash and Towers.io, this exchange, is creating the possibility for people to own this debit card which you can use, I think it's Visa supported, all over the world use where Visa is accepted. And you just store your Bitcoins on your card. And then in your app, you exchange your Bitcoins to the peso and then you spend your pesos in the local store in Mexico. Again, guys, yes, these debit cards are amazing. For me, still a step in between because I am still going for direct Bitcoin payments peer to peer from Bitcoin wallet to another Bitcoin wallet. But that doesn't mean that I'm not fully supporting these debit cards because I am using them as well. They are very handy when you cannot pay directly with Bitcoin. Then we need to use these cards sometimes as well. So really cool news. Thank you Dash for creating this beautiful opportunity for the Mexican people to spend crypto in more than a million stores in Mexico.
Yes, till now it was all positive news, but there is some negative news as well. And what is negative? The Russian government wants to ban anonymous deposit to wallets. I don't know why they want to do this. Russia is not very certain in what they want. Do they want to accept crypto? Don't they want to accept crypto? There are more countries like Russia that are not very eager to adapt to this new evolution of money, like India. Also, India now announced again they are going to look how to ban crypto. They just gave a green light, I think it was February or March, to all the banks to support cryptocurrency companies and now again they want to ban it. I don't know if it's just drama in the industry that will move the price again or something, but you can see the difference between countries like India and Russia that try to ban these cryptocurrencies or like Switzerland where now the biggest state-run bank, I think it's called Basler Cantonal Bank, I think you pronounce it like this, this bank is now launching their crypto services. So we have these countries that are fighting against crypto and we have countries like Switzerland that are just embracing crypto and even government-owned banks now launching crypto services. No, I'm not a banking supporter, but I find it cool that countries like Switzerland are giving green light to the banks to hold all your bitcoins as well because not everybody is the same like me or you most of the people are still very scared for this new world of bitcoin blockchain and other cryptocurrencies so they will still trust the banks more than we crazy revolutionary people that want to disrupt this system for me i don't care how people get into bitcoin i care that people get into bitcoin and when they get into bitcoin through their banks all fine with me we influencers are there to influence them and convince them and educate them on how to safely store their bitcoins in a hardware wallet where they have fully access to their private keys so we must just go with the flow never stream against the flow because if you swim against the flow life will be very hard you go with the flow and you adapt to the flow and then when these people will get into bitcoin through the banks we are there to show them this opportunity of staking in crypto not using a bank and getting more interest at beautiful projects like crypto.com or any other staking platform guys beautiful times ahead that's the only thing i'm thinking i'm thinking positive the glass is always half full it's never empty the same is also for our family because everybody is asking Didi oh why did you go to Spain maybe you come into lockdown in Spain yes maybe we get into lockdown and then we make the best of that lockdown again and we wait patiently till we can escape that lockdown into another beautiful country I don't believe that all these European countries are going to lock down fully again and you know we just live in the moment we enjoy every day and we will see how life and our adventure will evolve. We don't know and we don't want to know because that is exactly what makes life an adventure. That is why I always end my video with the same. I'm going to end with the same saying again. You need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in at life. You need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video, and yes, leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow again, guys. Bye!